everyone. Welcome to this week's Open Boat. Today we're going to be talking about extending your fall run season. Now a lot of guys, they'll throw in the towel after Thanksgiving and depending on what the bait is around, if bass are still around, you can extend your season almost to the new year. So today we're going to be doing a little fall run fisherman fashion show where I'm going to go through everything that I wear to stay warm. And you got to think, if you're sitting out there in a 72 hour soak, you gotta be in the proper apparel to stay warm and stay focused on catching a trophy bass. All right, so first up, you got the good old waders. So some people have the neoprene waders. Frog togs, these aren't neoprene, so they're a little light. So what I like to do is I wear wool socks and my leggings are Grundin's fleece lined leggings. So that keeps my legs warm, especially if I'm wading. And that water can be cold. So you want to have your lower half warm. So fleece lined leggings. Guys, if you don't want to wear leggings like I do, you can wear some blue jeans. Um, and another important thing, it doesn't matter what you're wearing underneath your waders if you have holes in your waders. So after every fishing trip, make sure to check your waders. So I got two holes. And make sure you patch them before your next fishing trip. If you're in the market for buying waders, we recommend going a shoe size up because they're based off a of shoe size. Um, going that shoe size up means you can layer more. You can wear thicker socks. You can wear thicker pants layers like you just want to go one size up so you know that you're warm in your waders. Next up is your surf top. Now I have a neoprene surf top. The word of the day for the fall run I guess is neoprene because that's like the best fabric to keep you warm. Um, it's like wetsuits are neoprene and surf tops and some waders are neoprene. So remember one thing from this, it's neoprene. So this is my surf top. Give me five minutes, I'll put it on and I'll show you. So the, the surf top has neoprene sleeves underneath the, the showing sleeve, so it just keeps everything sealed in. So to seal in the bottom, I just tighten the straps down here, and then you have a Velcro, Velcro strap up here to tighten, and it keeps your like neck area a little bit more covered so you don't have that cold breeze chilling in and getting your chest cold because you don't want to get sick. And I didn't wear a hoodie today, but you can wear a hoodie underneath your stormer. Put the hood on before you put on the stormer jacket or your surf top. And then this one also comes with a hood too. So sometimes if I'm in rough conditions, I will double up hoods. And of course, you can't leave home without a lucky beanie. So I have my lucky Grumpy's pom pom beanie here that I wear on my head, it keeps my ears warm and you can put your hood up too if you wanted to and it's relatively hot out right now I am very warm so you will be very warm too in the fall run late season pray for sand eels because if we have sand eels we could be fishing through December so now it's time to go fishing catch you guys next week